Diamonds are a man's best friend. <laughs>
Um, some people are going to complain about that because it's not dead perfect flat. And, and for most things, dead perfect flat is not a huge issue. Um, the best way to do it is to get a lapping plate, which is a diamond plate, and put it on the whetstone and flatten it out. That way, the diamond plate will always bring this, uh, bring the whetstone to whatever the flatness of the diamond plate is. And basically, all that is is you wet down the plate, uh, wet down the stone, and take your diamond plate, put the two on, and rub them together until all of the surface has scratch marks from the lapping stone. And that way you can keep this nice and flat. And so it's a, it's a bit of a maintenance problem um, that you have to kind of work your way through, but it can be done. It just takes more time, it's a little bit more messy, but some people really like the whetstone. And then once you find out you do like the whetstone, it's something you want to keep going, then you can start to get higher quality stones, whether you start getting into you know, our oil stones or you want to get into the, 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 the finer stones, you can get these stones up to you know, 16,000 grit and higher. Um, and some people don't even use the strop, they just use the stones and go crazy on the, the high grits. And you can get some really nice mirror polishes on there that uh, a lot of people really like. And they are, they are fun to use, uh, but it's a lot more work. And for me, I'm not a, as big a fan of whetstones. And if you're wanting to find out, I'll be leaving links to all the things I'm mentioning down below if you want to see. So in the long run, what I go to is the diamond system, and I really like this system. Uh, my plates are from DMT. I'll leave a link to those as well, and I, I really like them. Now, when I say diamond plates, a lot of people think, you know, these things, and you can go to Harbor Freight and pick up this block, and you can see I haven't used this in a while. Uh, I got this when I first got it, uh, and, but there's a couple problems with it. Number one, because it's plastic backed, and in this case, the plastic does not come through the holes like on the, the nicer um, DMT and whatnot. The plastic comes up pretty close to flush with the holes. Um, and this will actually flex. So as you push the chisel down into it, this plate bends and flexes. And i just never happy with this. This is just not worth the money to buy this multi-sided thing from Harbor Freight. Um, when you're getting into diamonds, don't get the cheap ones. You're going to be running into problem. They rust, they corrode, um, the, the, the diamond comes off them, and they very, very quickly become useless. And so that's why I like these solid plates, um, particularly from DMT. This set I have had now for almost two years, and they work beautifully. I haven't had any issue with them. They still cut, they still grind, and... Uh, they're great. So you have a coarse, medium, and fine. I'm not going to tell you what grit they are because the grit on this does not equal the grit on this, does not equal the grit on this. Grit has no comparison between them because they cut very differently. On a whetstone, when the water builds up on there, you get a slurry on the stone, and that slurry rolling around on top of the stone is what cuts the blade. On diamonds, there is no slurry because the diamonds stay put and the blade moves across it. The liquid on the diamond plates is just there to move the metal shavings out of the way so that the metal shavings aren't clogging up all the diamonds underneath. So it's a completely different method of cutting that you have to think about as you're, you're using them. Pros to using the diamond plates, number one, they always stay flat relatively flat. Now some people get really picky over them and they do have a micro tiny twist one way or the other, but not enough that's going to cause you any issue. Um, and I know some people really get bent out of shape over that because their microns different from corner to corner. Oh well, <laughs> um, they're flat enough and they, they work fantastically. A lot of people worry about how long do these last? Uh, are they going to, you know, are you going to have any problems with them? And I have not had any problems with them so far. And the people I've talked to really haven't had any issues. Uh, the only issue I had is a while ago I bought an extra, extra course. So the next one down and a week or two into it, the plating started to come up. Uh, and I thought, wow, that's that's not weird because I've had these for almost two years and I was very surprised at that. So I contacted DMT and they quickly shipped me out this. And then to say sorry, they also sent me a few other things um, just to play with. And I was really, really happy with that. Uh, these are you know, probably another uh, 30 bucks worth of, uh, uh, of tools. Um, the downside to diamond plates is they are expensive. I mean, you're going to be sinking in, you know, 150 bucks into this to, to get going, but you're, you're set. You don't have to mess with more sandpaper. You don't have to mess with flattening. You don't have to mess with all of the, the, the mess of keeping a water stone wet and the slurry getting everywhere. Um, this is, it's clean, it's quick, it's efficient. I can store this plate wherever I want to. 
and I can have multiple uses of it. The other nice thing about diamonds is you can, they come in all sorts of different shapes. So if you want, you know, knife shaping for in the field um, or paddles, I use these on my turning tools. Uh, you can get them in just about any shape you want to do just about any work you want. And I really, really like the, the diamond plate. Now the last thing I want to talk about is freehand versus using a jig. Now most all of the work that I do is freehand. Um, it takes a little bit to learn. It is a skill. It's something you have to experiment with. You have to play with. And eventually you find a method that works for you and you can sharpen freehand. The great thing about sharpening freehand is that it's extremely quick. I might, you know, if I have this chisel that gets dull, I'll spend 30 seconds or less. I'll go boom, 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 strop, and it's done. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to mess with it. I just literally turn around, sharpen it, and come back to the work. And it's so fast that it's, it keeps things sharp when you make them easy. If I have wet stones, then that means I have to get them wet. I have to have a water station. Um, and it takes a little bit more time to work with. With sandpaper, then you have to set it up on a smooth surface. And it takes a little bit more time to do it. The other method is you can use a jig. Now this is one from Veritas. This is, uh, you know, if you if you have to get a jig, this is the one that I really like. Um, it's wide enough, you can do everything. I still have done the thin, like, eighth inch chisels on here. Um, it can do that. Uh, they make another one that is also a lot smaller uh, that does the, the, the thin chisels. Um, some people really like that. But even this, you can get the, uh, the, the cheaper one from Harbor Freight. It has a smaller roller up here. The problem with the smaller roller is you tend to um, wobble one side or the other. So as it's as you're, you're cutting, you may end up starting to put a bevel in the blade, or you might round over the front of the blade because it's very easy to tip it from side to side, especially with the smaller ones. With this larger wheel, it stays fairly well registered, and as you're moving it, it stays well. So if you want to get a jig, I would definitely say you know get a good one. But even the smaller ones, as long as you learn to hold them well, um, they work fairly well. I'll leave a link to all those down below as well. So let's get to the takeaway. What should you get? Should you get sandpaper? Should you get whetstone? Should you get diamonds? You know, if you have the money and you want to be working, you want to be, you know, woodworking and you want to spend your time at the bench, I definitely say go get the diamond plates. Uh, they're worth it in the long run. They do cost a lot up front, but they, they will last you for a long time and they work fantastically. They're quick, they're efficient. You don't have to think about them. And that's why I really like the diamond plate system. If you are strapped for money and you want to get started, you want to start woodworking right now, you don't want to have any excuses. Um, you just want to get woodworking and you don't have much money right now, sandpaper. Because uh, right off the bat, that's what I did. Um, I bought a plane, a saw, and a set of chisels and some sandpaper and I was off to sharpening. I'll, I, I literally put this uh, sandpaper on my concrete floor and started sand, uh, sharpening on that. It worked fine, it really did. Um, it just quickly became expensive because I was having to get more sandpaper and more sandpaper. And so that's when I moved up to getting a two-sided whetstone. And I used that for probably six months or so and it worked great, um, I really like that. Uh, if you have a little bit of money, I would say immediately go to the whetstone. It, it is probably the most satisfying and useful way of doing it, um, although it does take a little bit more time, it's a little bit more messy, some people like that, um, whetstone may be the way to go. But I would say definitely you know, save up, get the money for diamonds, that's my choice, but everyone's a little different. If you like something different, then that's up to you. So there you have it. It's not that difficult of a system once you start to understand the pros and cons and you know what you're looking for. Uh, I hope this has answered a few questions. I know there's a lot more questions out there. I could talk about this for a long, long time and we can start getting into grits and differences in that and hard stones versus soft stones and manufactured stones versus natural stones, oil versus water and different types of diamonds and yeah, you can really get into the nitty gritty of this and start diagnosing exactly what you want and how to work with that, but we'll save that for another video. <laughs> if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments. I would love to answer them. Um, I, 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 I really enjoy that. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, we'll uh, get to them as much as I possibly can. I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can keep putting out videos like this. If you'd like to help out with Patreon or just find out more about what it is, you can do so right down there. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and see some behind the scenes footage, you can do that as well. That's about it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day.